uh, when you look at the pass defense down the stretch, um, what do you think? What do you think you guys have to do to, I guess, be better against the really good quarterbacks in the league? Uh, just, just be complete. Just be complete as a defense. Don't, don't play. Uh, you know, you know, just one half. We got to play a complete game. So uh, that's something to work on down the line. Zach Kiefer. Hey Kenny, um, what do you like about this team and where it's going, and what? Do you want addressed in the off season? Where do you guys need to get better? Um, I really like the camaraderie of, of this team. Um, you know, everybody trusting each other to, to do the right thing, to do the, the job at task. But um, as far as the things that needs to be said in the off season, uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, Stephen Holder. Hey, Kenny, um, I, I'm sure you know, losing, you know, puts a damper on things, but uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> but, but what I was going to ask you is uh, just looking at, first of all, the way you guys played against, you know, one of the top seeds yesterday, had a chance, many chances to win. Um, do you take anything from that in terms of where you are in, in your process of, you know, trying to get to the top? I mean, does it, does it make you feel like maybe you're closer or how do you sort of put it all together? Uh, I mean, we had a taste of the, you know, the playoffs in, in, in 2018, 2019 season. So, um, and then, and then being here, um, I don't know, it's just the wild card, not good enough. You know, we, you know, you, you know who you are as a player, you know who you are as a team collectively, um, you know, where we made it this year where we made it in 2018, 2019 season, it's just not good enough. So um, just like anyone else, anybody else in the league. Kevin Bowen. Kenny, what did um, Xavier's presence mean to your guys' defense this year? Uh, just competing every day and, and taking the ball away. Uh, he he uplifted that, that whole standard. I feel like um, he uplifted my game. Um, more than he'll ever know. Uh, I, I don't really express myself the best way. Um, you know, I talked to him after the game and it was pretty much just like, you know, it's all love, bro. But uh, Xavier Rose, he 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 really uh, did a lot for, for the corners room for this defense. Um, you know, just putting the confidence in us to do the things that, that we're supposed to do. Um, you know, he, he didn't take anything away from us as far as, you know, pulling the torch out of my hand as far as, you know, trying to lead the room. But, you know, he was the guy that led the room with me. So um, it, it was great um, having a guy like that take charge and uh, to see his his work and, 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 and what he brought to the game each day in practice and, you know, going to the game. So, uh, you know, his film study and the way he approached every day was uh, pretty great for us. Go a few more here. George Bremer. Kenny, change is, of course, constant in the NFL, but Mo said maybe this year would be a little bit harder than than most just because of how tight the bonds are. You guys are together all the time with the protocols the way they are. Do you kind of agree with that that sentiment? Uh, for sure. You know, um, we couldn't hang out as much. You know, we, could, we couldn't be around each other as much, but um, outside of that, we were still great people. <laughs> All right, right there. Um, I lost my train of thought because of Kari. What, what were you saying again? I'm sorry. Uh, is, is this harder this year harder than most to say goodbye to everybody, given how tight the team got with, with all the protocols? Uh, yes, sir, it is. And, and we just understand as a team that this 2020, you know, team uh, won't be the same anymore. You know, um, you know, each year it, the, the, the league is just a revolving door. So, there's so many things that come into play as far as um, getting rookies here and getting, you know, other veterans here or, you know, other opportunities and, you know, uh, just so many things that, that come into play of having having guys here. So um, good luck to the guys that we won't have here. Uh, awesome, awesome to the guys that will be here. But um, like I said, it won't be the same team. And, you know, uh, we just got to keep in touch outside of football. 
Jim Ayala. Yeah, Kenny got a couple for you, but the first is just referencing the hat you're wearing. Um, how, how much did you like playing with Philip Rivers this year? It's awesome. Uh, I, I pretty much made it clear uh, earlier a few weeks ago, um, but his leadership will never go unnoticed. Um, we enjoy having him here. We, we love having him here, having him speak in front of the team and uh, his approach each day, you know, whether he's practicing or not, or he's in meetings or not, um, we all just want a ball for a guy like him. So um, uh, he's, a, he's a true leader. The other one I wanted to ask you about was Rock. He's been, uh, you know, the guy's had some up and downs, and I know he, he, he you know, how, how have you, how have you seen him face kind of those the the, the adversity this year? Um, honestly, like anyone else, um, you know, we've all gone through tough times this season. It hasn't been my best season off the field, but um, you know, we've had several guys, you know, Matt Adams, and uh, you know, just so many guys have things off the field and uh, on the field, um, you just got to look at it like life. You just, you can't be bogged down about it. Um, you know, we all hand, handle it differently, but um, we're all here for each other. And they know that they can call any one of us and we'll be there for them. So, um, you know, we just got to keep reassuring each other of that to uh, keep each other on the high. We have two more, Lara Overton. Kenny, I know you mentioned, you know, falling short of like the team goals for you individually, the personal goals that you have, what will your focus be this off season on the things you want to improve and what you individually want to keep striving for? Um, I haven't come up with any goals yet. Um, I'm still sad. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, I'll, I'll take that time out, you know, whenever it comes, but you know, right now I'm just going to love my family you know, love myself, love my teammates, um, you know, off the field and, and, and just enjoy life, you know, like um, there's so much time that, you know, I've missed out as far as, you know, being with family and being intentional with them that, you know, I'm going to spend that time and to love on them and, and just reassure that I'm always here for them too. So um, there's other areas in my life that I would love to work on. Um, and then I'll get around to football, but um yeah, I mean that's 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 really how I try to approach you know life in general. Like it's, I can't I, I can't just worry about the last game, the last game, the last game. Like yeah, it sucks, um, and and I will have that same feeling that I felt yesterday um, whenever I touch the field again. But you know in training, but um, you know that's that's not who I define myself as. Um, there's a lot of relationships out there that I gotta. Uh, do a better job at so um, just bettering myself being positive and um, you know just looking forward to to being a better Kenny Moore the second so um, yeah the oh, last one here Mike Wells hey Kenny I got two questions for you uh, first one uh, Matt Eberflus is a, a head coaching uh, candidate at some places what has he meant to this unit and you guys this transformation He's meant more than just a coach. Um, you know, as, as a man, he, 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 has, he has taught us a lot about life and how to be intentional to the relationships we have around here. Um, and, and just not even saying that football is everything, but saying that football is great, but the people around you are great too. And just trying to spread the love that we have for football into the different relationships that we have around us. So, you know, if, if that makes sense. So um, I just want to say that he's been awesome here, um, whether he's here or not, um, he'll still be with us. Yeah, I guess if I'm trying to say like his, his teachings, his, the way he touched this group of guys, the way he, he coached us, um, the way he, the way he, he coached about passion and intensity and, you know, taking the ball away and just, and being situationally smart, uh, those things will still, sh will still show up because, you know, he's engraved that in us. So, um, we love, we love him. We love Coach Flues. And then also, you know, we've been around you for a couple, a number of years and you, you've admittedly been very quiet and reserved with us. Uh, you seem kind of emotional today. 
Um, is it just a matter of just the, se the season ending? Just upset at how it came about? I mean, well, uh, I'm just trying to better myself as far as, far as uh, public speaking. Um, I, I am pretty quiet. I don't, I don't express, express myself a lot, um, but that's another area of my life that I try to better um, as far as getting my thoughts out vocally and expressing who Kenny Moore the second is.